Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 66. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how a regular restore of 32-bit database into a 64-bit instance is not possible. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution. So the problem scenario is uh, a regular restore of 32-bit database into a 64-bit instance is not possible. I'm not saying it is not supported, but it is supported, but uh, a simple restore, like, you know, uh, without redirection of paths is not possible. Like, what I, what I mean by that is like, say, for example, there are two systems, okay, so with exactly the same mount points. The only difference between the, those systems is one is like a 32-bit uh, OS and 32-bit DB2 edition, and another uh, system is a 64-bit edition uh, of DB2 and 64-bit uh, OS, like that, okay. So they are identical in terms of the mount points. So you will find that the table space containers or the log path or the storage paths, everything, they, the, whatever the mount points are available, uh, in in the 32-bit uh, machine the same way you are setting it up in the 64-bit machine as well so what people will naturally think is like just take a backup of the 32-bit database and restore into 64-bit instance okay so this is uh, this is possible okay so uh, uh, but actually in uh, reality when we try to do that it is not working that way so uh, what is the root cause? The root cause is the storage path information is interpreted incorrectly inside the 64-bit instance. So when you take a 32-bit image and do a restore or uh, try to do a simple restore, uh, you can see that the storage path information is interpreted incorrectly. So I will show that in the demo actually. So what is the solution for this? The solution is very simple. So and the uh, solution is like use the redirected restore option or you have an on class when you do the restore right there is an on class you can uh, provide an on option so you can use the, the that on class to override the storage path information so this is really not a showstopper but uh, a good to have right okay so uh, let's just quickly begin our demonstration session okay so here i have so this one is you can see that it is a uh, os uh, this is a virtual box uh, like another uh, machine like a virtual machine it's a debian based uh, uh, distribution uh, linux q4 os that's the os name and it is uh, debian based distribution and it is i686 like that right so which means it is a 32 bit uh, system okay so i can even show you like l s c p u okay uh, cpu 5 grep 5 and i double quotes b y t e okay yeah you can see that the byte order see it is a little indian and it is a 32 bit system uh, and uh, you can see also the level information so db2 level you can see that okay so it is a 32 bit os right so it uses 32 bits and it is a 10.5 fix pack 1 okay so uh, here i already have like a database db2 list db directory the database is already created and everything so bit 32 i have named the database like you know 32 bit so bit 32 database okay so now i have even taken a backup of this particular database you will find that the backup is available bit 32 dot zero dot whatever this right so that is available now what i'm going to do is okay um so the backup is available i'm going to run certain commands for you like say db2 check backup hyphen h that particular uh, 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 command right so db2 ckbkp hyphen h space bit32 star like that okay okay so it is running and yeah you can see that the home db2 inst1 that is the log path and uh, you can see it is the instance is db2 inst1 the database name and everything okay uh, and also i'll run the storage path information like i want to get the storage path information that is there inside so there is one storage group uh, name ibm store group the path is this is important see here the storage path is slash home slash db2 inst1 okay so this is the one and uh, then the next thing that i will show you is uh, the table space level information okay so that will also i'll show you okay now see you can see here there is a uh, my dms is a dms table space which is in the path slash home db2 inst1 my dms dot dbf and there is an sms table space home db2 inst1 my sms 
so and there is also these temp uh, table spaces in this is like an automatic storage temp table space okay so that is sorry user space one okay so this is the automatic storage temp table space then there is a catalog space so automatic table spaces are there dms is there sms is there uh, storage path is there so everything is fine right here okay now i have uh, so that's it so this is a 32 bit uh, this thing and you can also see that information here actually uh even h when you run right so you will see that yeah see here look at this important information so this means that this particular backup image is from a linux machine and a 32 bit linux right so that that is what it is saying okay and it is a little indian system okay uh how to see yeah i showed you that also i, I remember okay yeah this is a little indian system so the when i restore the little indian can be restored on a little indian right so okay so i exit this and i will also probably close the machine uh, so we and i have copied the same uh, backup file into the, uh, the this is from a virtual box right i have copied it into the main uh, what do you call it, like a host machine okay i have i have taken this backup i have moved it to the host machine so i'll just now close this okay okay now you can see here uh, okay not here so i'll show here first uname hyphen a so you can see that it's an ubuntu again 14.04 uh, ubuntu based linux and it is a 64 bit uh, processor like 64 bit os okay and lscpu by grep hyphen i double quotes byte okay so you can see that again this is also a little indian system only so little indian to little indian the restore should not should not be a problem okay and uh, uh, okay so yeah let's let's um let's now what we'll do is we'll issue the same uh, backup uh, command and we will uh, i forgot to show you the level information right Okay, here you will find obviously the DB2 is an instance, is a 64-bit instance. The, the virtual machine had a 32-bit instance. Now this is a 64-bit instance, same release, 10.5 fix pack one. Okay, and uh, what else I want to show you? Um, okay, that's it. So I'll just uh, copy this particular uh, check backup command. I'll run the same check backup command for the bit 32. So the bit 32 database is copied to home's Ubuntu downloads directory. This is the same that what you saw in that virtual machine that file has been copied here okay so you can see that home db dynasty one db dynasty one node zero zero like that's the log path you can see here see the platform it's linux ia32 which means it is like a 32 bit uh, image okay <clears throat> so let me run that and show you the table spaces okay so what are all the table spaces that are inside so you can see that that my dms table space and its container is, is in perfect state uh, home db dynaston my sms container uh, user space one everything is perfect okay and uh, temp space and uh, catalog space so all the containers or uh, table space informations are all correct let me show you the storage path here okay so the storage path is where we will find see what is this it contains the ibm store group right but what is the storage path why it is getting truncated i'm not very sure so actually it should say like home slash db2 inst1 right but it is saying like e slash db2 inst1 this is the root cause of the issue when when you uh, run this particular uh, if you try to now do a simple restore without uh, redirecting the storage path right it will just look for something like e slash db2 inst1 which will not be available whereas actually originally it is slash home slash db2 inst1 but somehow it is rep represented like this i think this is the root cause of the issue so i'll uh, even uh, show you uh, doing a restore right so when i run the restore command right i'll show you that also so db2 start okay okay so the db2 is started let me clear it and i run the restore command okay i'm restoring that bit 32 database uh, okay it, it will defi it's definitely going to fail so i will just show you the error condition there okay see here SQ, the path e slash db2 inst1 does not exist this is because i showed you right that e slash db2 inst1 storage path that is the problem so uh, let us do one more thing okay restore db 
redirect generate script so what i am doing is i am not doing a restore i am generating the script file you know so red res.sql will be the script file so once the script file is generated even in the script file you will see that redres.sql you will see that in the uh, generated script file itself will have incorrect entries see here see set storage group for ibm store group on e slash db2 minus one obviously this is going to fail right see restore db db name on see this on path this is incorrect so i don't know so probably see here look at this sms container is correct dms container is correct automatic storage uh, obviously you you don't need to over read so that shouldn't be an issue okay but this on path is going to be a problem right the storage uh, path is going to be a problem you will not find a storage group like this so this is definitely the root cause of the issue so how to avoid this yeah so the solution is there okay so it's de the definitely this is not a show stopper or something like that okay so i can always do initiate a restore like this okay so wherein i am using the on class so that that particular storage group will be redirected so instead of slash e slash db2 inst1 it is going to look for home db2 inst1 so ideally this is not required okay uh, because uh, we have our mount points everything the same right it shouldn't be an issue but uh, yeah it's just a basic uh, uh, some small glitch that's all i can say okay so it's uh, restore is going to take some time okay so after that what i'm doing is i'm connecting to the database and i'm getting the snapshot and looking at the container information okay so hopefully uh, everything should should go fine like you know the restoration and everything restore will take a little bit of time okay my machine is not a very powerful machine okay it's like an old laptop okay so let us just look at the progress of the utility so we can just say db2 list utilities show detail like that it will show you the restore command yes it is still executing some 708 or 70 megabytes or something okay it is about some 110 MB or 112 MB. So it's going to take a bit of time. Okay. Okay. It's like real slow. It can be on the so you can look at actually the files then uh, you can see that yes see you can see uh, you can see there is uh, you can see there is uh, uh, my DMS and my SMS uh, you can see my DMS and my SMS uh, directories are created okay so it is taking a little bit of time okay cd my sms you can see okay so that is that is the uh, some table file is there okay. my dms is there you can see the db.dvf so these are all the individual container files so it's all getting restored properly okay we run the list utilities again yeah 118 i think we are close to completing the restore operation i'm sorry about this okay it's taking a longer time
yeah the restore got completed so now i can go and connect to the database this is an offline backup so there is no roll forward or something so directly connect to the database and uh, get the snapshot so you'll find that all the container like my dms is a dms table space the container path is there sms is container path is there all the automatic uh, uh, table spaces automatic storage table spaces user space one container is there proper so yeah hopefully everything will be there so uh, you can even say db2 list tables so the tables will be there yeah so t underscore dms t underscore sms all the tables are there hopefully there um, this uh, uh, information was useful to you uh, thanks for watching this video please uh, subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then thanks bye bye